Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing an April favorites video. You're welcome, I am keeping up with my favorites videos. So I've got a few makeup items and also a couple non-makeup items for you. And I'm also really sorry about the really plain background. Um, I just painted my room, if you can tell, from an ugly green to like a pale yellow. And I still haven't put up my curtains and my lights that I normally have in the background. So I will get to that soon, but for now we're just gonna ignore it. So today I'm gonna start off with lipsticks. The first lipstick is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick, and this one is in Bow and Arrow. And this is the only one that I got. I went and got this at Sephora and I bought a whole bunch of items. And I only got one because I usually like to buy just one for testing out and making sure that I actually like it because liquid lipsticks are kind of spendy, so I don't want to go and buy a bunch and then end up not liking them. But I will be ending up buying a whole bunch of these. These are probably one of the best liquid lipsticks that I've ever tried. Um, I'm wearing Bow and Arrow right now. It looks really dark on me compared to other people I find but I like it. It's a very brownish nude color and the actual lipstick itself feels super lightweight and it feels like you can't even like you can't even feel it on your lips. And it's also not super super drying like most liquid lipsticks are, so that is a plus. The second liquid lipsticks that I'm going to be talking about are the Kylie Lip Kits. I know that some of you do not like Kylie and you don't want to support her lip kits, but these are super, super good. And I got Mary Jo K and Posey K, and I've worn both of these for a long amount of time, and they both stay on so, so well. And they are a little bit drying, but all liquid lipsticks are pretty much drying on your lips. So there's not much you can do about that, you just have to kind of learn to get past it. But once you do learn to get past it, it is a really, really, really good lipstick. So in each lip kit, you get a lip pencil and an actual liquid lipstick. And I'm going to go ahead and swatch both of these for you. So this is Mary Jo K with the liner. It's very, very pigmented and it stays on forever. And it's like the perfect cool tone red. Um, some reds. When you put them on, it kind of looks like you have yellowish teeth, but this one actually enhances the whiteness of your teeth, which is what I love about it. And this is Posey K. It's kind of a purple tone, pinky, nudish, also brownish. I don't know. I've never seen a color like it. It's very mauve, and I love mauve lipsticks. They are my favorite. And I wear Posey K all of the time and it never lets me down. So these are the two colors. So next I have two foundations for you. One is drugstore and one is higher end, I would say. So I'm going to start off with the drugstore. Um, this is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 3-in-1 foundation. Um, I've seen this literally everywhere on YouTube and so many people are using this now and so I decided I needed to try it and I love it but the only downfall about this is I got the shade 01 and this is the lightest shade and I'm wearing it right now and I also have this is like fresh self tanner that I have on so I get much much paler than this so I would not be able to use this with my natural skin tone without self tanner. So if you do have pretty pale skin, then you would have to mix this with another really light foundation or a really light concealer. Um, it is pretty full coverage and it's very matte, so it stays on for a long time and it doesn't break me out, which is a really good sign. And yeah, I really, really like this for when I have self tanner on. And the higher end foundation is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. This is my baby right now. I am loving this foundation so, so much. It's so good. I don't know what it is about it. This is actually one of my first kind of high-end foundations. I've only ever really used drugstore foundations and I just realized that when I bought this and I'm really wanting to go buy more high-end foundations just to see if they all live up to this one. This is not very full coverage unless you build it up. 
This is more of a medium coverage and I just love the finish that it gives. It's not matte, but it's not dewy and it does not move, especially when you use a primer. It doesn't move throughout the day at all. I wore this probably I wore this foundation probably eight hours the first time that I used it and I went and looked in the mirror the first time after like eight hours and I was very, very, very surprised at how well it... So next is primer. I don't have a bunch of primers. I only have one this month and I am also really, really in love with this. It's also my baby this month and it's the Too Faced Hangover Primer. And I've heard a lot of good things about it, but I've also heard that it does break some people out. So I was a little bit skeptical trying it because I do break out really, really easily. And I've used this probably like 10 times. Face hasn't broken out at all. Actually, my face has gotten better this month. It probably doesn't have anything to do with the primer, but that's just proof that it doesn't break me out. And it's a primer that is moisturizing, I would say. You rub it in and it kind of gets tacky. It almost reminds me of the Nivea Men's Aftershave Balm. I also have used that before, but that is a little too moisturizing. And this isn't too moisturizing, it's perfect, and it doesn't make you oily, it prevents you from getting oily, so it's really, really good. Next are a couple drugstore concealers, and the first ones are the NYX HD concealers, and I have the shades 01 and 02, just because I like to have a little bit of variety in my shades of concealers, especially for when I self-tan, and for highlighting and then for covering up like pimples or discoloration on my skin and these are really really good these remind me of the maybelline fit me concealers in light and fair and they blend out really really well and they're very high pigmented but they're not too heavy so this is the shade 01 it's very very pale and it's perfect for highlighting and this is the shade 2 i honestly should have gotten um, the shade 3, but I like this one because it's more of a peachy tone and I use it for under my eyes to cover up any discoloration or dark circles. Next concealer is the Wet n Wild Come Correct Celebrity Concealer and this is the, I think the lightest shade, it's in the shade Fair and it's very, very, very high coverage. I have not tried the It, Cos it Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye but I've seen people apply it to their face and watch them blend it out and it looks exactly like this and this is really nice because it is pretty thick when you put it on but when you blend it out it becomes super dry and almost like it's not there but it does cover everything like a dream it's super 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 high coverage so I really really recommend this and it's super cheap as well so if you've been watching my tutorials lately I've been using a lot of wet n wild um, I'm kind of making the tradition tradition. I'm kind of making the transition into cruelty free makeup and also trying to keep it as much drugstore as possible because I'm trying to keep it very, very affordable for those of you who do have a tighter budget. And I've been using a lot of wet and wild and some people are actually getting a little bit irritated with it, but I don't care because they're really easy products to get your hands on and anyone can afford them. And they just came out with highlighters and I think these are limited edition and I don't know if you can get them at any drugstore. I do know that you can get them at Walgreens. You might need to go to their website to see where these are available, but these are limited edition. And there are two of them. The lighter one is called Precious Petals and the darker one is called Crown of My Canopy. Well, so this is the lighter one. And this is the darker one. So I don't think I could ever really pull off the darker one just because I will never get to the skin tone that can pull this off. Um, but it would look super, super good on darker skin tones. This is the Color Icon Comfort Zone Palette. And I used this palette in my last makeup tutorial, the Cool Toned Dramatic Makeup Tutorial. And there are such cool colors in here. I used this color for my last tutorial. And when you wet your brush down and then use these colors for like a lid color, they're all so vibrant and just really, really good. This one is super, super pretty if you haven't seen the tutorial on it. And there's also a green and then there's this dark forest green. 
that is very shimmery and it's so pretty and I really want to use it but I haven't decided what look I want to do with it yet but this palette is also super cheap it comes with highlighting colors with transition colors and then lid colors and it's very very nice and super affordable I've been loving it lately next is a brand or not a brand a pencil by Tristique it is a eyeshadow pencil eye cream pencil and I've been using this straight the past week so I've been using this the past couple of days and it is a very very pretty champagne -y, rosy color and it's shimmery so I only use it for my lid and like my inner tear duct but this stays on forever it's waterproof and it's not going anywhere it would be really really good as just a normal eye base for eyeshadows to go on top of but it's really pretty on its own. This is their Color and Smudge Shadow Crayon in Maramoto Pink Pearl. I think I said that right. Okay, last makeup related items in this video are the Iris Beauty Lashes in collaboration with Wake Up and Makeup. Um, the girl who runs Wake Up and Makeup did her own lash line with Iris Beauty and she was kind enough to send me some and these are my favorite lashes right now they are so pretty and so dramatic but there are also some styles that are subtle enough to wear on a daily basis i don't know why i just turned orange so these come in very very dramatic styles and then very very wearable styles I would say this one is the most dramatic. This style is the Fearless Lashes and they are so big, um, but these lashes are kind of double stacked so there's like a line of lashes on top and a line of lashes on bottom, but the lash band itself is really thin and easy to apply and it's comfortable to wear. And these are the more wearable ones, these are the Style Empress and I've actually been wearing these in most of my looks and they are so so pretty and they're also cruelty free which is what i love about them last items i'm going to be talking about are my earrings and my rings that i just got i got both of these or both sets at h m these are the new earrings i honestly don't know if this is supposed to be an ear cuff because the pack came with two ear cuffs or whatever these are but it fits perfectly on this part of my ears so I thought it was cute and I'm putting it there and using it as an ear cuff and these two earrings are really really good they're perfect for summer and then also my new rings I got these at H&M as well and I've been wearing them every day I love them so much also a trick for when you buy new rings um, especially at stores where there's where they sell really cheap like H&M or Forever 21 um, they will leave blue prints on your fingers if you wear them for too long. Um, a trick to stop that is to take them off and then paint clear nail polish on the inside of them and that will prevent them from like staining your fingers or making them look green or anything like that. I've been doing that for years and it works perfectly. So that is it for my April's... April's? But that is it for my April favorites video. I hope I went over enough, but those are just the products that I have been loving this month. Um, I've been experimenting in different brands quite a bit, and I'm liking it. So, yo! I will be having some really, really exciting videos coming up in the next week or so, and I'm so excited to tell you guys all about it. And thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.